back and I went ahead and had, had it braided, pre-braided, because it does take a while to do this. Now, there are several different styles, and you've probably seen some of them out there if you looked at the poster that I had out there. Um, I think what we're going to start with her first is uh, a roll, and we're going to use something called a rat. So what the ladies did was is they saved their hair and, in a hair receiver, and then we made these rats with their hair and some uh, French hairnet. And what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to roll her hair. We got to start on this side so you can see it first. I'm going to roll her hair around this to give a nice full roll on the side, and then I'll incorporate it into the back here. But first, what I'm going to do, so Natalie, if you'll kind of turn this way a little bit, maybe I'll. There you go. As I'm going to make a bun out of this first. So I'm going to have Natalie hold some bobby pins. Oops, I knew this dress was too long. <laughs> and I'm going to roll and make a little bun back here. And actually, as I'm doing this with the girls, I'm going to do several different hairstyles just with this, this configuration. So you can see you can get, you can start out the day one way and then maybe mm -hmm. end it a different style. So here's a basic hair bun done with just one braid in the back. Okay? That's a basic hair bun. And then, this one of the rolls, what did I drop it? And what you do is you kind of bring the roll pretty far forward. Do you want me to turn that? No, you're fine. Okay. Bring the roll pretty far forward and you bring the hair up around it. And you just start pulling the hair up around this bun, or this hair wrap is what I like to call it. Pin as you go. And then, when I get down to where the uh, bun is down here at the bottom, I just start rolling the hair around the existing bun. And I twist this as I'm going, maybe. I told her to wash her hair last night, I probably shouldn't have. <laughs> it is easier to work with hair that's a day old, so to speak. Okay, Natalie? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's one side done. And you do exactly the same thing on the other side. You see it doesn't really take a very long time to do this, um, especially if you have somebody else doing your hair. And a lot of the ladies who had any kind of wealth had somebody that that's all they did was do their hair during the day. But uh, this is not, this is something you could do on your own. You could. As you practice doing it, it's not that difficult to do. Now myself, with the, the bun I have in my hair, it's actually not my hair. And because my hair is only maybe shoulder length. You can uh, just pull your hair. I just did a very simple, just pull it straight back, parted in the middle, wound it around a little bit, and then stuck this on and pinned it. So you could do something as easy as that. Because that was a very common thing to do also. Hold on, Natalie. So you're actually winding it around that piece? Yes, I'm winding it around this. This is called a rat. I don't know why they call it that. It doesn't really look like a rat. But, um, and then is that I just Natalie's keep, hair? It's Natalie's hair. Yes, mm -hmm. She kept saving her hair back. And what'd you put it in? Where do you buy this? Did you put this in? She, she put hers in it. She put hers in it. Yeah, that's just a French. What'd you put in? 
They're called a French uh, net. You can get them at Sally's. Yeah, I got some thin hair. Great. And you just save your hair back that way. Well, that didn't work for How long are your, your rats coming back? Well, so the, I just in the middle. I just left over my brush and mm -hmm. then I'm going to start with the fatter again. Take it from the trail of the bag or put it in a receptacle of some sort of safe. <clears throat> okay, let's start with the fatter. And then, I don't yeah. know, I probably saved for two years and I have four of these. Mm -hmm. One's only saved for a year. Nice and soft like that, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Everybody else need to see them to know what they are. These are called hair rats, by the way, this girl. It's, these are my hair. And when you brush your hair, you know how your hair comes out in your brush. You just save it, and then you put it away like in some sort of receptacle. And then you put these in French nets. It was the sort of things that they used. So they used their own hair that was just had come out. And that's what gives you this raised appearance, is that one of these is, is wound underneath the hair. And for those of you who were, weren't in here in the beginning, I actually already had hit Natalie's hair parted off to the, you know, down the middle, one on each side, and then I previously did one braid down the back. And what I did first was is I took the braid and just made it into a bun. And then once I do the rolling, as you'll see right here, I just keep twisting as I'm doing, and I keep rolling it around the existing bun that's already there. Now, is your hair long it. enough to make that roll? You said you're short with hair. My hair, I can't do that with my hair. My hair is only down to shoulder length. You can't do it shoulder length. You could do a roll like this, yes. yes. You could do that, mm -hmm. yes. And then pin it back and then stick one of these on it because this is not my real hair. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of the ladies, believe it or not, um, they had a lot of false hair that they used mm -hmm. to get these um, appearances. Yes, it would be. Yeah. I never, I would be able I'm always to holding a mirror or something. Mm -hmm. And one last one. is very, very, very short. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, well, I'm going to talk about the very short hair okay. and how you can get around the very short hair, you know. Now because, I'm going to get up so you can take a better picture.